going to do a little tiny um, ocean pour on this little wood plank. Um, and I have several. So my thought is to do a bunch of little ones and then maybe like um, glue some, um, oh, like the upholstery. Um, it's not yarn, but the, I don't know what that's called. Somebody will know what that's called and, and let me know in the comments. Um, but then you get the upholstery department, like at Hobby Lobby, so that you can hang a little ocean um, somewhere in a very small space. I love little tiny pieces of art that you can put anywhere. Um, so that's my thought. Now I have, um, this is straight pouring medium with a little bit of phthalo blue. There is no water, there's no photol, there's no um, uh, silicone, and there's very little paint. It's mostly pouring medium. Same with this. This is um, pouring medium with a little bit of white and some Arteza jungle green. And then I have bronze for the sand. Now I may adjust the bronze and this green for like the ocean by the sand. We're gonna see how it turns out. Um, and I'll adjust as I need. This is just my first layer and I'm gonna be doing at least three. Um, my guess is probably closer to four. Now the one mistake I've made that I just realized now that I'm ready to start, I don't have any painter's tape to put around the edge. Um, so I'm going to probably come by when the resin is um, no longer drippy but still wet and wipe uh, this edge so I don't have any resin, or resin, pouring medium drips that will end up, uh, let me see if I have one here. Yeah, like you see this um, right here, the resin, or I keep saying resin, the pouring medium drips. This is done the same way. And since the pouring medium um, isn't um, um, thinned out with water or anything, when it dries, it forms these little uh, pouring medium nubs, kind of like what you'd get if you're pouring resin. Um, not quite as bad. I've poured resin, and, and I think there's a little bit less of that. So, anyway, here we go with layer one for my ocean. I'm going to start, I think, with the water. Okay, so there is layer one. Like I said, there's gonna be at least um, two more layers. I will add some white where the waves are coming in and maybe back in here. <laughs>
If I was going to do it again, I'd probably do at least six layers. Um, so when I do another one of these, I think I'm going to do six layers. But it's really cool. You can see where the pigment powder created almost like a, a, a current in the ocean because it's just a little bit different than that um, phthalo blue. I probably won't do a metallic for the middle color again because as you can see where it's showing through over that, you can still see the metallic. So it looks a little bit like the wave being washed out to sea, but um, I think I'll stay away from that metallic for my middle color. And hopefully you can get this. Um, it's so hard to show, but you can tell that it's like dimensional and not just a flat painting. Um, in person, you can really see like the waves are higher than the than the bottom layer of that um, middle color. So it really looks like they're on top of the water. Um, the other thing I found is that I don't think I like using opaque colors. I think I like semi-transparent or transparent um, for this because it did it was more of a harsh line when I used an opaque color versus a semi-transparent. You can see kind of the line um, of the white right here. Now I did ask, um, oh that's a good picture where you can sort of see the layers. Um, I did ask somebody who did not, a couple people actually, who did not watch me make this and were not involved in the making of it, obviously, what they thought of the white um, right here. And they said it just looked like waves. So I'm going to go with it. I no, that's where I laid the white down and it, it kind of stayed there. So for me, looking at it, that's all I see is that it didn't move right there. Um, also, I think I had more white, more paint in that than I did in the other colors. Um, it came out of my container pretty uh, as a big blob and I didn't put as much pouring medium to white in there. Also, this Master's Touch white is very, very thick. It's a very, you know, it's heavy body. So... Um, I think maybe the consistency may have had something to do with it since it was more paint to pouring medium than the others. <clears throat> Regardless, um, I may find either a semi-transparent white or just be very, very careful, put some white on a popsicle stick before I mix it into the pouring medium. That will help. But you can see most of the areas, like right in there, it turned out really, the waves turned out really cool. I love, I love that. It's like foamy and you can see through it and you can tell it's sitting on top and not on the bottom. It's just right there where I laid that, that line down. So your thoughts are always appreciated. Thumbs up if you like the video. You can hit subscribe if you want to see more of these. Um, and let me know what you want to see also with um, pouring medium. I have some Floetrol coming today ordered from Amazon um, because I did not like pouring, doing a regular... Um, a typical style of pour with with pouring medium but I love these layered resin-ish um, type pours with pouring medium so let me know what you think and as always guys happy pouring